that's you. No, I got man. all the bars over no, here. No, man, I got bars over here, man. Well, no, any... my my stuff is full. Oh, okay, okay. But anyway, let's, know, let, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and start over right quick. Let's start. Right, let, let's right. start over. <laughs> Hold on, right quick. Let's start over. All right, we we gonna start this whole thing over. All right, so, yo, what's going on, guys? This is Lockout Men, back with another podcast. As you guys can see, the banner right here. Today is February fourth. I mean February fourth, twenty twenty. How's y'all February going right now? Mine just started, and it's just. Actually, mine is like on a on a downturn right now. So February is not going good for me right now. But it's about to get better. It's about to get better. Hold on. Whoops. Wrong wrong button. We're going to get to that. Y'all y'all see what I just brought up on the screen right quick? A dude in his car. Yeah, I'm about to get right to that. We about to jump right into that. Right now, I'm about to introduce myself. I am Lockout Men, and I'm here in the truck on the 30 for this podcast for this evening. And I got a special guest co-host that's going to rock out with me right quick. I'm about to bring her on right now. Her name is Sharika. Welcome her to the show. What's going on, Sharika? Nothing much, and thank you for welcoming me to the show. Um, just here, waiting to dive into this conversation we're about to have on, you know, the subject um, that everybody's discussing right now. Man, listen, listen. This subject right here is is popped up on uh, on YouTube, and it just took off. So we're gonna get right into it. We're just gonna jump right into it, man. I am sweating up a storm. You know what? You you guys want to know why I'm sweating? Because I got so many lights on in this motherfucker. I had to. I had to make sure that the backdrop is lit. You know what I'm saying? But I got the AC on. I don't even... Hold on right quick. I don't even think this AC is pumping, damn it. No wonder. There we go. There we go. There we go. You guys might hear a little bit of hum in the background, but that's the AC. I had to turn that bad boy on because I'm... I am burning up over here. But, uh... Hold on right quick. But, uh, yeah, enough of the small talk, man. We about to jump right into this topic right quick. So I got I got on YouTube, and I'm subscribed to a young lady named Trucking with Cursey, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so Trucking with Cursey was the one that actually brought the attention of what happened to the gentleman. So this dude was a prime driver. He was a, he was a prime lease driver. And he was a he was a trainer as well. So she came. Hi guys, and welcome to Truck Number One with Kirsty Beth. Hold on, hold on, right quick. I I I know you got it up already, huh? (laughs) That's Sharika. I don't really know. I have a laptop over here, and it just started going off. I don't know why, but you know. (laughs) Yeah, that that's uh that's her trucking with Cursey. I have to pull up her channel real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So if you guys haven't heard of trucking with Cursey, definitely go over there and check her out. As a matter of fact, I did reach out to her, so stay tuned for that interview. I'm not sure when it's gonna be, but just stay tuned for it. Uh, the guy, what, what what we about to talk about, man, is the topic of discussion is trainers and trainees. Uh, a male trainer and a female trainer and and should you develop a relationship while being a while while a fee, uh, a male trainer training a female truck driver um or vice versa or vice versa yeah vice versa so what happened to this guy via cursey um he got well, he didn't get fired. He was let up out of his contract. And um and um for he was kind of vague about the reason why he uh why his contract was let go. So, I went to his channel. And uh and and this this the channel right here. Uh the video says why I no longer work for Prime Inc. Let's hear what he has to say. Sunday night and Monday, big blowout in the truck. And um, I took her in um, for a meeting with training. And uh, after it was all said and done, Prime thought best just to wash their hands of the situation. 
So they revoked my service contract, which in turn forced me to uh, turn my truck in and uh, head home. So I am in Florida. As you can see, my shit's in the back. <laughs> so I am in Florida right now. And I'm going to take this uh, one day at a time and see what happens. So big blow up in the truck. The young lady, the young lady that he's talking about is a young lady by the name of Highway Honey. You can see her here in this video right here. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, hold on. Lori. Hold on right quick. I got to let me see. No, I, I can't see her in this. Wait, wait. That was just. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. I had to find yeah. it. I had to find it. So I also got you guys got to work with me because my Internet, of course, I'm here at Love's jumping off of there. Boo hoo, boo hoo G, boo hoo G Internet. It's it's, but this I is her right amazing. here. Just based on the temperature, it's, it's not cold. It's just snowing. It's slushy. And, um, and that's what it is. It's just a heavy, wet snow. Yeah. It's not that it's um, freezing everywhere, but there's puddles. Uh, <laughs> building up but we're not done yet no. we still got a way to go so sharika man they they look like a pretty good uh look like a pretty good tag team uh uh trainer trainee going on there don't look like it's you know yeah. by the video by by the video you 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 can't even tell that you know that they have a a relationship other than um other than a um trucking uh trainer trainee relationship uh, all right nothing out of the ordinary what's so, so by you by you coming into truck by you coming into trucking you know you coming in brand new what's what's your what's your thoughts on this whole trainer trainee uh build i mean uh, outside relationship type deal all right so as far as a trainer trainee i don't think it should happen However, people are wrong, and they're going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. But yo, is your phone is yo, your day. phone is breaking up. Your phone's breaking up. Hold on, right quick. Let me make sure that's not me. I, okay, I got bars over here, but your phone is breaking up. Are you are are you are you on are you on your phone phone or are you on your headset? No, I'm on the headset. Maybe that's uh, yeah why. yeah take yeah yeah get take take it off the headset. Let me and get, get on my phone other headset because these wired ones might be a problem. Yeah, because it's like you're you're like breaking up. It's like <laughs> see, I told you I have all the bars, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see. Is that better? Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. You're not breaking up. So. Okay, I'm on my wireless buds now. Um, okay, so as far as trainer trainee relationship, I don't think there should exist a relationship out of trainer and training that means no personal thing no having sex no doing none of that of course you're in the truck together you're going to go out probably have dinner from time to time and stuff that's okay i mean that's basically the free time that y'all have and that's the only person you're going to be socializing with at the time so having a work lunch or dinner or something that's okay but everything else you know getting physical and all of that i think that should not exist at all and it happens in a lot of different industries, not just in trucking, because even when I went to the military, they were IET um, soldiers that were basically like initial entry training soldiers that were having relations with higher ups, which is not supposed to happen. And that puts a strain on the relationship, strain on the training. And, you know, it's both their responsibility. Um, to make sure that it doesn't go past the point. Yeah, but now, now, um, now wait, now, now, being that you know, there's gonna be some some type of feelings because Prime has a habit of leaving, uh, well, I'm not uh, female trainers with their trainees for an extensive period of time. So yes, yeah, about like five months. Yes. That's, so that's I said it before. So that's, that's excessive for someone that's not a couple. Right. You know, feelings are going to develop. It, it's kind of like, it's inevitable in a way, you know, and I'm not saying it goes for everyone, but you are in a very small space with someone for a very long time. Eventually, feelings are going to develop somehow. You right. Know? So they, so they, so obviously it did, but 
but I'm watching the dude's live or the his live feed. He did a live feed on the situation as well, as well as doing uh, as doing this, a video on him being let go. So obviously they must have got into like a huge argument that they couldn't fix. And they mm-hmm. decided to go to the bosses, which was prime. Now, if it was a situation that that it was like volatile, then yeah, I can understand going to prime. But if it was like a situation like like a small situation, a fixable situation, then don't you think they should have just kept it amongst themselves to fix it, then go into prime and let prime get into it? Possibly. So, um, about that. I've been uh, one of Crazy Dad's subs for a very long time. I've been watching him. When I first um, said I was going to go into trucking, I started researching different companies and everything, and I did find this channel. I heard about Prime and then I found this channel, and he has a lot of great information to give, right? So, I was watching him for a while, and she was never in one of his lives. And then all of a sudden she was there and she was just always there, you know? And I'm like, why is she always there? That's not his wife. But, you know, he said it, she was a trainee and everything like that. But I felt maybe there was something, you know, but it was not for me to speculate on. So I said nothing. And, you know, I just like let it go. But she was just so um, aggressive in her showing herself in his videos and being there. I didn't like it personally. And I, kind of took a step back and I'm like, I'm going to just, you know, see what happens. Yeah, and I see. I'm, I'm scrolling. Happens. I'm I'm scrolling through his uh, I'm scrolling through his uh, channel right now. And yeah, she's in. Well, you you would imagine that being that he's training her. Mm-hmm. She's obviously going to be in a lot of videos. Right. I mean, yes. you know, she's in this one where they went to the restaurant. This one right here. Long time. No see. Uh, him by himself, by himself, rolling. But here's another one: Bats and Highway Honey, uh, Prime E. It's a lot of her in his video. Meet, meet my new co-driver. Okay, so this is where he must have. Where, where that's he must where have first started. Where he must have first. Oh, that's where the, that's where it all, the downfall begins. Exactly. And it's, it's loading right now. So here we go. What's Hold going on. on, YouTube? So where the hell have I been, right? Well, I can tell you where I'm at. I'm in Savannah, Georgia. I'm over here at Shaw picking up a load, uh, heading to Denver, right? Let's see if I can get all these shadows. And uh, times have been crazy. Times have been crazy. So you wonder what the hell I've been doing? Well, I, I don't know. i just been working a little bit, you know? There's there's blue. There's blue. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there somebody in my truck? Who the hell's in my truck? You let's know, go let's, find out. Let's fast forward so we can get to your damn truck. You're taking too damn long. But uh, so this is, so <laughs> here we go. Just popped up. Here we go. And yesterday I, I drove 550 miles. So that, I thought yeah, that you was did. pretty She's kind of cute. Okay. Let's, let's be accurate. <laughs> At least she got all her teeth. I can tell you that much. Um, <laughs> yeah, for 48 year old woman. Good, oh, she's 48? She was 48. And today she Ooh. tried to cut her finger off. She's kind of cute for 48. So, oh, what happened to that to finger? She's trying to cut a line. Now, see, so she's got a YouTube channel. Um, what's it called? So that's, so that's the beginning of the end for uh, Crazy Bags right there, huh? Yeah. Like I said, she's she's kind of cute, 48 years old. But you you mentioned he's married? Yeah. So, um, okay, so here's a little, I don't know all his business. I'm not going to assume. All right, so wait, wait, wait. Let's stop right there. Look, we're we not going to speculate because I am married. No, it's not but speculation. I, 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 I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm not hip to his channel. He's a popular, he's a popular prime. He's a very popular Yeah, he's prime a prime, leader. he's a popular Popular's. prime trainer. I mean, he got about, he got about 50, about 56,000 subscribers. He's, he's basically up there where I'm at, but. He's a popular prime driver, just like uh, Junior uh, Honduras. But uh, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't hip to him. So as I was about to say, you know, I, I, me personally, I'm not going to speculate on the joint because of the fact that I'm married. 
You know what I'm saying? But I've been separated for five no, years. No, it has nothing to do as far as um, maybe not in the beginning or whatever with this marriage. So mm-hmm. let me give you a little backstory. Okay. All right? Okay, go he's ahead. He's been a trainer for a while with Prime, okay. and he's had other training. She is his first female trainee. He has always trained males. Oh, okay. He, she was the first. So... Out of all his trainees, no one has ever been in his videos that much. At one point, I was like, maybe he's putting her in the video to show people like, hey, you know, strictly business over here, but hey, whatever. Um, But he did say that in his video when he explained what happened in his life, that they did start talking before he even trained her. Okay. You understand? So they had ended months ago. And um, he did have some um, family um, problems, um, you know, with his dad and everything. So Mm -hmm. he went to spend time with his family. He took some time off and he went home. And, you know, his son's there, his wife's there and everything. And who knows? um, He said that him and this female right here, they had um, separated ways um, personally. Oh, okay. Months ago, but they were still training. Okay, so, so he so he was to, so he was separated from he was separated from his his either wife or girlfriend some like a situation I'm in like you know I've been separated mm-hmm. for five years so that's yeah he was possibly separated from his wife oh. like him and Highway Honey ended their relationship on a personal level months ago oh, okay but he was still training her and honestly. I don't, like I said, I've been following his channel. Like, I would still watch his stuff, even though she was there and stuff. I would still watch his stuff. And, you know, he took time off and went home and everything. And then all of a sudden, he came back. And the very night he comes back, this is what's going on kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I just think, and if you watch some of his videos, you would see she's very combative. She's very argumentative, you know. So I just think she had an issue with the fact that he was home so long and came back, regardless of the relationship being over, and she had a problem. Okay. Now, he did say that what happened was he didn't, it was nothing on a personal level. He didn't like what she did while driving his truck. Now, you, Sharika, hold on. Now, you, you figured all this out just by watching the videos because... Damn it, man! I haven't even. I've I, I I reached you, I've out. Been stuff I, for I, him for a while. I, I reached I've out. Stuff to him for a while. I, I did mean, reach out to him. I reached out. You know, I sent. Uh, you know, I sent the invite to him so he can come on to the channel and uh, you know, chop it up with me. But goddamn, I I mean, it's it's like you. I mean, the play by play. You like what? You were sitting next to him. Like you was the third wheel. Damn it, man! I watched his channel. I what can I? Say? If I'm someone's sub and I like their content, I watch their videos. I listen to what they're saying, so I hear it, you know. And it's not like I'm making this part up or anything. This is what he said, you yeah, know. Yeah, he, he said that he's the one that contacted Prime because he didn't like what how she was handling his beat, how she was driving and struggling the things that she was doing. At the end of the day, that is his people. He leases that truck. It is his. It's not a company truck where, hey, you can do whatever you want kind of thing. It's his responsibility if anything happens to that vehicle, correct? Right. But see, this is, okay, so, right. But if he was, if he was having a relationship with the young lady and he didn't like the way she was driving, I I just kind of think that maybe they should have had, like, that little con- separated, that, separated they, ways. Right. I think they should have had that little conversation saying, Hey, you know, I, I would like to keep our relationship going uh on the personal level, but on the on the professional side, I don't think that we're gonna make it on the professional side. So why don't I just why why don't you just uh request another trainer and just and just say Irrecycle, irrecycled, irre, God, so that's the thing. Irrecyclable they ended differences. They the personal side a while back, but they were still in the truck together professionally. You uh, understand? Oh, so, okay, okay. Exactly. So, so that made the the milk sour, I guess. So you that know? must have been that must have must have made it for awkward times. Then I mean, exactly. And he was her. 
second trainer, so she's she's had a trainer before him, and I don't huh? know what happened. They talked briefly about it before. Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Um, he he is her second trainer. Her second trainer. Hold her on, second so, trainer. hold on. So I'm I'm on her I'm on her channel, and it don't say nothing. It was said on his channel. Oh, it was said on his channel and not hers. Yeah. Um, she may have said it on her channel, but honestly, I don't watch her stuff because I didn't really, I, I didn't get a taste for her. I just didn't. She wasn't my cup of tea. Oh, wait a minute. I, wait a minute. She said something she about, wait, 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 wait. Uh, she got a video <laughs> on her channel called Stranded. Uh, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with prime i'm sitting here a little bit outside of harrisburg pennsylvania mm. i think this hold is on. middletown Possibly. hold on hold no on she, I, she, her I got i got on it i got it plan memorial highway hold on um at some travel plaza it's not a night i mean it's okay but they don't have some some of these travel plazas have showers in them where you can take showers but this one doesn't um so my trainer he doesn't have any more hours left for his 72 hour clock i have like three hours and 45 minutes left so we're i don't know what we're doing because our load was late you know getting our load was late and now okay well maybe she's maybe uh, she titled that but she got several titles here that says uh says strand she got She's stranded, stranded not for long, homeless, stranded round two, uh, nerve wracking, bad news, good news, says something about her passing. Uh, and right here, look like three months ago, she it says she got what crazy bags. So mm -hmm. may, maybe in maybe in one of these videos, she probably talked about the situation with uh with with her and her, her first yeah her and her previous trainer. But yeah. this is so so she's I'm assuming she's in the TNT phase right now. Then yeah, okay, yes. okay. So she's in the TNT phase with with the guy. Okay, mm -hmm. so this. Man, I, I look, guys. Let me tell you, I my my thing of it is is that if if you're in the truck, if you're you, if you're a female in the truck training with a male, take care of business first. Take care of the reason why you came out here got in out the here. first place. You okay. know what I'm saying? Take care of the reason why you got out here in the first place it's not about building it's it's about building a relationship with that money you feel me once you mm -hmm. get what 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 they should have did what they should have did sharika what they should have did was they should have got the training all said and done she should have got her he should have got her in her truck and uh and then from and there, they're free to do whatever. right after that, you're you're good to go to get in and and do whatever you got to do after that, not during. But why? If it wasn't his fault and he brought it to the attention of Prime, why did Prime let him go? The Prime. Prime is going to let him go because the fact that he's the trainer and she's the trainee and that relationship should have never existed. Even though um, it was said that it was um, before they started training, they're going to look at it and Prime could get sued and all of this could ensue if she wanted to sue someone, I think. But um, like I said, um, with him being her second trainer, she got another chance to finish out her training and everything. That should have already locked in your head like, hey, I want to finish this. I want to get my stuff done. I want to be out here, so I'm going to do what I need to do. You know, so the, the aspect or the thought of a relationship with your trainer should have never occurred to you. And I'm not, I know people are always going to say, oh, they're quick to blame the female and everything. And it's not blaming the female. Hell, it's both their their fault for even doing that. Because honestly, 
he's never had any problems before because all his uh, trainees were male. Um, maybe they had a special relationship before this, and that's why she came on his truck. You, you know, know, like you said. Now, a so lot of, that's a lot of, what happened. a lot of, a lot of trainers, a lot of, a lot of male trainers. Some of them don't like training female uh, trainees simply because of this situation right here. You know, exactly. they simply because of this situation right here, they, they will develop a relationship. They probably did the nasty and then up all of a sudden, either the guy did something that she didn't like or he or did, she or did she something. did something, uh, mm -hmm. or or she did something that he didn't like, and now now the relationship turns sour. But I don't, guys, listen. Now Sharika, she probably might disagree with me on this, but I'm sorry to say, females got that power, dude. I'll, listen, females got that power. They got they got that power from from Mount High, okay? All right. Now Sharika probably might be getting mad at me for saying this. <laughs> you know, I'm coming with my rebuttal she, right now. <laughs> she 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 might uh, she she might not like it, but I'm I, this and this is just my opinion. That's all. Just my opinion. But they got that power, and let's say if something was consensual. She could have, she could have, make, she could have went back, or any female could just go back and just say that, oh, I was the R word. Yeah, but you see, in this situation, you could say yes, you female have the power, but in this situation, they're looking at it like he has the power. He's the one in control and in command. He sees the trainer. You know, so they could say, hey, she felt intimidated to do this because, you know, he's in that position of power above her that she, you know, she was so scared and she has to do this. And with all of this being said and him explaining whatever happened on his side in the story and everything that happened during his live and everything, I did check out her channel just to check out her last video because, like I said, I checked out her channel before via his request because she goes up to her and I checked out her channel and it wasn't for me. So I did not stop, you know. But I did check it out when I found out what was going on with him to see what she had to say. And her video, the last one where it says back in the truck, and then a tornado hit. Yeah, I got yeah the, the um, truck driver back in video. disaster. Yes, it was a long driving video. And then at the end, like a minute or two, she's crying. And this got me real upset. This got me real upset because she's crying and saying, oh, I don't know if anyone's in the Marine that's been in the Marine, have a problem talking to people, but the Marine made me like this. Lady, shut up. And I'm saying that because my cousin is in the Marine. Mm -hmm. I was in the Army. My other cousin is in the Air Force. And there is nothing that they do or we do that's going to make us not be able to have a conversation. And you can tell from her page, because looking at her page, it's all victim stuff. And I hate that. I hate females that play the victim all the time. Like, oh, you know, everybody else is wrong. And I'm just so, cut it out. Because you're making yourself seem so weak and vulnerable. And I hate females that do that. I honestly do. Because I know who I am and how strong I am. And I come to my own defense, even if nobody else will. So for you to do that, you make yourself look weak. You make females look weak. And you are disrespecting every single person in the Marines. All right. So you must be talking about this video. You must be talking about this video right here. Uh, back in the truck. I'm bringing it up now. Back in the truck. Then a tornado hits. Let's hear what she has to yeah, say. Yeah, That. <laughs> Sometimes things are out of your hands, you know. Hold on, let's go back a little bit. Go all Crazy the way to the end of it. Oh, here you go. Training Shh. together, Shh. we had a big Shh. fight, and um, I'm really upset about it. But I wanted you guys to know that we're not together anymore. So. 
Oh, okay, she did mention something about it. Well, she only mentioned she it. Did. No, nah, I I was not in the military. No, I I was not in the Marines. I I did have a brother-in-law that was that was in the uh that was in the Marines, but yeah, wow. So so she uh so she she did mention. Well, she only mentioned it. She didn't, as you guys could see, she did not go into detail on what actually happened or what or what was the big. Uh, the big fight was about. I mean, that's why I said we're not gonna we're not gonna speculate, and that's why I said that you guys should not have a relationship. I mean, I know there's, and like I said earlier, you know, Prime do leave you guys in the truck for way too long. I mean, I, when I went out training, I was only out training for a month and a half. Um, I was with the dude. Hello, Sharika. Uh oh. Yes, oh, I'm okay. here. I'm sorry. Okay. About I that. thought I, I thought I lost her, but it, I was on the truck. No, no, I'm here. I was on the so, truck. I was on the truck with the dude for uh, a month and a half. So January, uh, a little bit of January, but he left the company, and I got with another truck driver, and I finished out uh, finished out with him. And then I upgrade, and then boom, from there. But Prime leave you guys, leave you guys in the truck with a trainer for for way I too long. I think way too long, way too long. And you know, I used to, I, 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 I've, I've never been a truck driver, other than personal rentals and stuff like that, you know. But um, you know, being in the transportation industry, I do see and realize things and know when it's about profit and about money and at the end of the day when prime trains you in tnt phase it's like you're a team driver right you're a team driver mm -hmm. you drive then your trainer drives and everything it's not you just driving and getting used to really your trainer watching you no it's it's vice versa you know so it's like it's them trying to gain more profit while using you in that time, mm, like that's a, be getting your lessons and uh, everything, but that's all about profit for them. Okay, that's a good way to putting it. I, yeah, I, I never that thought. About I, profit. I never thought. Of, I never thought of it that way. But that is a good way into putting it. That that they using because the they, trainee. They they using the trainee to 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 maximize their profits. Oh, definitely, because then they're not paying you for the cents per mile. At the end of the day, you can run six thousand miles for that week in the truck with your trainer. Y'all two run it together and everything. But at the end of the day, how much are you getting? Depending on your T and T phase, six hundred, that's before taxes. Yep. Seven hundred, that's yep. before taxes. Yep. Eight hundred, that's before taxes. Yep. So if you look at it that way, they really have to pay you cents per mile all that time all the miles you're driving they would have to pay you a lot more than the six seven or eight hundred dollars and that's depending on what stage you are in the tnt phase Not so like i said being in transportation before i noticed these things and i know how it works because i've been in the office and i've also been on the road driving so i know what it's about and <laughs> i see it man it's 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 crazy that so that so many people uh and I'm going to say was so many people that was talking about it. Who who was talking about it and what happened with Sharika? So Busy Blake actually made a video or live or whatever he made. All right. So you say you, you, you say Busy, you say you say Busy Blake. 
Now I'm not. Yeah. He's a he's a he's a prime. Uh, he is a prime driver. He's, he's a, a prime, prime driver and a trainer too. Yeah. Riz, and Rizzy you know, every now Blake. and then, his videos would pop up, and I would sometimes watch it and stuff. And I'm not a big fan of his because he just is a little too uh, showboaty for me. You know, I don't know. I just it's his personality and me don't click. Oh, you know, okay. and I hear some things he say in his video, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really like that, bro. I'm just not, no, not for me. You so know, this, and, so I brought I I brought him I I brought him up and you say he uh he, he talked about it what's I don't I don't see it what well, I'm on this page now I don't see it either I guess he took it down wow wait he took it oh. why would he why would he take it down what hold on let me I, I'm about I'm, I'm about to click on his I'm about to click on his latest video I'm about to click on that we we refusing no that's not the video I was talking about no. But that's the but that's the latest one. I that he, is the latest one, but yeah, that is not the video where he discussed what happened with that. Hey, oh, okay, remember, here, hold on, here you go, here, here wild, you go, hold on. Application, hold on. Tubs, driver code T U B B B L. If you have already filled out your application, just contact your recruiter and say, "Hey, Blake Tubbs is my referral. I forgot to place him down." If you have any other questions about getting your CDL, contact me at 417-8383-167. Let's go. So oh, we have another. Okay, okay, okay. He's 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 one of them. He's one of them prime uh uh recruiters. See what I what I mm -hmm. tell y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all that Prime has the book of YouTube. Prime has that mm -hmm. book. I don't care what no, I don't care what nobody says. Prime has the book of YouTube mm -hmm. because it's like mm -hmm. all but, it's like everybody that works for Prime always got to give out that hey, if you wanna if you wanna use me as a driver referral, don't forget to put in my driver code when you come over to Prime. Prime got mm -hmm. that book of YouTube, y'all. All right, so look like <laughs> so he has a he had, he's a trainer, he's he's a trainer, and he was taught and he talked about uh, the crazy bad situation. But as you guys see, I went to his page and it was it's not up there. So what what do you what do you think? Uh, Prime probably got to him and said, "Hey, you might want to take that down or that." possible but let me let me check out another youtuber let me see if i can find his video um trucking along with percy oh okay. her, but every now and then i'll watch her videos and stuff okay yeah. hold on wait quick hold on yeah. i'm i'm i you know what i i sent out a uh I, I sent out a request to her and and yeah she was the one that when i came when i came over hold on trucking alone Oh, oh, wow. I I went to wow. yeah, she was the one. She was the reason why I um why why I figured out what was going on with Crazy Bass because she she made a video about it and it was called um So Long Crazy Bass or some shit like that. All right, so I'm on her channel. And like I said, this this is the one that uh that that I sent the reach out to. So be on the lookout for that uh for that uh uh podcast interview. But yeah, no, I, I, I don't see it. You know that makes me wonder. That that really makes me wonder because I want to know. I would really like to know if Bags know these people, which he probably does because you know they're big YouTubers for Prime and everything like that. If these are your friends, they are not your friends. I don't know if Prime is having them take these videos down or maybe they're too scared to show support to a fellow driver that went through something, false or not, you know? And it's like, if you have thoughts on it, what's, what's holding you back? What's, see, I can't trust people like that. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, no, no, Hold on. You know, you, you know, um, um, uh, 
thread. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Crazy Bads mentioned another uh, truck driver, another female truck driver. Oh. Um, Grateful Thread. Grateful Thread. She's a uh, yeah. Grateful Grateful Thread. Grateful Thread trucking. She's a she I'm assuming her name is like that is because uh is because she's a Grateful Dead uh fan. But um but this is her channel. I sent out I I, I think I sent out a reach out to her too because she did her her video, one of her videos uh popped up in my in my thing. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this yeah. this this the one that popped up in my thing. Got to wait for it to load up because of the bougie bougie internet all right but well, uh, since i'm just sitting here um this is her right here i might as well you know i usually don't have a lot of time so i have a chance to make a video for you guys i don't know why my i can't flip my camera around on the samsung you would think that they would be able to do that all right um, I'm, I'm, i fast forward it uh to the to the pro here we go um this the so, video, y'all, that popped up in my feed that actually I did my got first big mess it. up. I figured I'd share it with you because, you know, this is not an easy job. It's pretty, um, <laughs> it's hard. It's It takes a special kind of person to do this, and uh, I feel like quitting, nah. to be completely honest with you. But I'm probably no, not no going to. It's just been one thing it. after the, the other. Ones that did say I really wanted to tell it, you guys more about it. But, um, so time all right, so oh, hold on, right quick. Hold on. Scale, hold on. You know. Hold on. She's still, and, uh, she's still talking. It looked like she felt. Make it oh, she scale, rolled off the scale. Oh, like, that's what happened. Okay, so that's. But not the way that she wanted me to. Okay, yeah, she rolled. She rolled her truck way off the scale. Woo! Uh, that's the video that popped up and I wanted to reach out to her to talk to her about her her encounter but what you were saying about you know the people that made the uh made the video about it about his situation yeah every everybody that made the video that at least I was able to catch which was Percy and Dizzy Blake they removed that video with a quickness yeah the because it was up this morning them, like, look remove that or they are just, you know, they have no balls or they're flip floppers. They can't even say something without being scared or whatever the heck it is. I'm not too sure, but I'm just saying if those are the people in that would, let's say, you know, try to give me support, I don't want your support. I'm sorry. I see how your support is and I don't want none of it. <laughs> you say you don't want okay? none of it. None of it. I'm good. Thank you. At least, like I said, uh, you know what? You want to know who did say something about it and it's still up there? And y'all be Ooh. on the watch out for this video? My girl. Oh, damn it, man. What is her name? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Kitty. Kitty. Hell yeah. Hey. Let's get her up. Kitty the trucker. Y'all guys. And make what she said was right. You guys no, make sure make you guys make sure you check out that interview with me and Miss Kitty the trucker that will be coming up soon. Actually, that was a good ass conversation that I had with her, but she talked about the crazy bags situation and mm -hmm. her thought her thought on the situation was don't do it. Don't yeah, do it. Simple. Don't don't fuck with it. You guys, like I said, my my internet sucks. But her her, her thoughts on the situation is just like me and Sharika's uh, thoughts on the situation. Don't do it. You get look, guys. You you coming out here to get your to get your bag, man. Stay focused on that. Don't you get your money. That's it. Get your license, get your experience, and get where you need to go. It's not about, you know, getting, you know, the physical aspect of it. It's not about that. Honestly, we're all adults. We could we could have sex whenever we want to have sex, you know? 
But you're not out here for that. You what out, did you come out here for? You out here to come. You, you What you come out here for? I'll tell you what you come out here for. You come out here. You, you number one, you're already sacrificing. So why not sacrifice that relationship until you you get your own truck? And then nobody in the world will happen to know your business. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't. That's what I try to under try to understand with a lot of these popular quote unquote popular YouTubers and they want to be quote unquote transparent. Oh, well, you know, this, that, and the third, this is what I do in the bathroom. This is what I do in the bed. This is, this is what I look like first thing in the morning. So you guys can see me in the, in the, in the Instagram live feed with my bonnet on. And why be so transparent for what I can only, I can only give you guys what I want to give you guys. Y'all see me in the truck. When I'm at home, I'm at home. I probably do a couple of videos at home, but still, I'll, you know, I'm not going to be like, yo, right now I'm, I'm on a crapper right now, you know, <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm looking down at my, looking down and seeing that it's all brown and shit and all like that. I, I just, I just want to come on and, and let you guys know that I'm on the crapper. Pump all that, man. Stop being so transparent. Nobody would not have known about Crazy Bats and his situation, to be honest with you, if he didn't come out to actually say anything about it. All right. That is true. Now, if he now I understand that, you know, him being a popular YouTuber and he was promoting uh, promoting prime re religiously. I'm talking religiously you know he's promoting prime religiously then up all of a sudden y'all see him at another trucking company he could have just came out and said well things didn't go right at prime and i parted ways with him boom done yeah. over and then we'll move see, on into his next chapter you see um in a way i i see why he did that because everybody knows him mm -hmm. that watches him that follows him and he's always um doing his lives in his truck and showing what's going on and everything and talking about crimes you know all that stuff he's doing that constantly so when he st when he would stop let's say stop dropping that content people are going to wonder why you know what, like what's going on did, did did you quit did you get fired what happened and i think he just jumped ahead of it and let everybody know hey this is what happened and, you know, either I'm going to go to another company or I'm not, which right now he said he's not, but it's all up to him. And with his experience, he has 15 years in a truck, he can go anywhere he want to go. He can. You know? He can. And you know what? He really can. You know what? And by you putting it that way, I mean, that's probably good that he wants to get ahead of the situation. But I'm also, I'm about to play devil's advocate now. I, I'm about to, look, brother man, you was look you was in the truck you got 15 years of experience you got you got trainer trainer training experience why mess up your career by trying to get a relationship with this volatile young lady think about that yeah. was it now now a now weak that you moment i believe he had a weak moment and you know it's no shade or nothing against him and as far as her you know um like i said as a female you should you should know better I mean, you just clearly should know better well you should know that hey you know people are gonna look at it like oh this and that i'm with you i mean sure what people think anyways but you're out here to get your experience what are you doing Look. What what are you what's wrong? Look, look at here. Kitty the trucker said something about Trainer it. I'm about to play. Candy. Here she goes. And um we've been out here what? 5 6 months or whatever. I do not believe a trainer and a trainee should have any type of relationship, any type of relations 
on a truck you know there's so many different variables you know the only reason you guys are even brought together is because of this the work relationship so you know we all have needs I get it but you're putting yourself in a very bad situation anything can go wrong one person may just want to have the relationship due to the physical somebody else may want to actually have a relationship you guys may not be on the same page you never know what a trainer or trainee has going on at home so to put yourself in that situation it, it's just never good it she's right she's right you know you, you you don't know what what the trainer or trainee got going on back at the house you know what i'm saying and and you and like she said she put she like she said she put that you you put yourself in the per oh yo oh okay what what you watching because it's coming through loud but you they you put yourself in a precarious situation you know it it could it could go left at any time you know what i'm saying so sharika you coming out you 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 coming out here in the game shortly very soon what what's your what what you gonna what you gonna do man what you gonna do you gonna you gonna keep it you, you gonna keep it kosher seriously get in my truck I mean, that's what i'm gonna do i'm not i'm not here for none of that okay none of it all right you know right. and the, the funny thing is um you know trucker trucker nene mm -hmm. um, her her videos will pop up every now and then um she had actually made a video about interpersonal relationships with trainers and trainee a while back and it's so crazy that this happened and now she she actually i just saw um her a video she made she made a video yesterday i believe i didn't watch it yet but her reaction to prime trainer fired video oh you know? see that's what i'm saying all of us is getting in it right here uh oh she's a, is she's a prime trainer too is she i'm not even sure who she works for honestly i think she may or may not i'm not gonna say i do know i'm not gonna say i do know um i saw her before and i'm just not quite sure who she works for all right here she goes i want to talk about the reaction that oh, I hold got on hold on when posting the video about the prime trainer being fired Let's talk about it. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. You, you got to do your intro and all like that. We we could pass on your intro. Wait, she she does work for fun. My own f ups, right? Learn from my errors. I put that out there. I'm gonna also talk about some of the things that affect our industry: drug testing, our clocks. Okay, let's get to the let's get to the prime trainer. Okay. Fact number one, when I uploaded my students don't date, don't date your trainer video, which I will link in the description below, I did not know that this this was going on in Pittston at the time that I uploaded that. I, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about it. Nothing. And in fact, Someone else contacted me and asked me if it was about them. It was, it was in general. In so she must have. So she must have did a video about don't date about don't date your trainer. And yes, they, and they must and she must have got some backlash from that because. Crazy Bass and Highway and Highway Honey was was actually dating and everybody thought it was about them, huh? Mm. <laughs> Didn't wow. know that. Wow. But she did. I did see a video saying, "Don't date your trainer," you know, um, from her a while back. You know, yeah, I, I just I just pull it up, but we're not we're we're not gonna I'm not gonna play it. I'll probably watch it a little bit later. No, but, it's man, fine. I just agreed with her standing on it, just like I agree with Kitty standing on it. Don't let it happen. It don't. Should not. That's what I'm saying. I I I feel the same way. 
don't get involved with trainee. I, students is a little is a little below word for me to use because I hate it when my trainer called me a fucking student and I'm looking at dude like. Brother man, I'm like, what, 40, how old was it, 45? I was like 45 going on 46, and you over here calling me a damn student. I'm like, dude, man, you, I said, I was a student when I went to go to truck driving school. I'm not a student. I'm a trainee. You're, mm -hmm. you, I'm, I'm a trainee. Don't, don't call me no student. Well, that's, that's what they want us to call. Well, the, I'm not a student, bruh. <laughs> I hated that word. I really do. I hated that word. But don't, don't, don't date your trainer. It just, uh, you know, just to keep it out of the situation. Y'all, y'all grown ups. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Y'all can, y'all can fuck around. Y'all can do all that type of shit. You can do what you want to do. But all in all, don't let it affect what you're coming out here to do. Don't let, don't let it affect the job. You know what I'm saying? And the job is come out here, get your money, learn how to drive this truck, and keep it moving. That's yeah. that's what it is. That's what it is. If y'all wanna if y'all wanna yeah. develop a if a relationship should develop within that time that y'all on the truck, this make sure y'all got an understanding, like look here. Look at here, sweetheart. We we ain't gonna do nothing. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna have this to turn physical or anything like that until I make sure that you are where you are or going to be. I'm gonna make sure you're going to be where you need to be before we start before we start knocking the booze. Enough of all that. And 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 these dudes. These trainer dudes that that always say, "Oh well, I'm looking for a female. I, uh, I'm looking for a female." Look, man. Look. Leave your not shit. Not every female wants you. Just know that, and not every you know, not every female is gonna share the same moral compass that your last female student. And maybe she slept with you. Maybe she didn't. Not all of us share that same mentality or want that. Thank so you. That's what people need to keep in mind. And you know? and and keep your shit in your in 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 your pants, bruh. Keep it in your pants. Period. Now I know that we're out here. Some of us are lonely, and you know, it is what it is. But if you're out here trying to make that money and trying to help, quote unquote, help these students get what they need then concentrate on that period period so yeah, that's, that's cool. a, that that that's about it y'all that's about it it's almost time for me to get up and get up out and get up and get up out of here damn it man get up out of here <laughs> i want to thank sharika for coming on and chopping it up with me on this on this particular topic right here look we both okay we both got this saying don't do it. Period. Sharika, period. should should students date their trainers? No, they shouldn't. They they should leave them alone. They should definitely not. Guys, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Man, with my humble co-host, Sharika. Thank you for coming on here. This is not going to be the last time she coming on the show she will be on the show a little a little bit more unless unless we 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 have a problem <laughs> <laughs> i i don't think she, oh, I, I don't i don't think she's coming Ooh. all the way over to ohio to drive for my company so i don't think i don't have that problem <laughs> oh my gosh you know what I, i'm sorry you <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. We about to get on up out of here. I'm about to go ahead and get back on this road. I got about five hours. If my, hey, listen, fleet manager, if you're watching, because I know you are, I'm not going to make it to the drop off at, at 10 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't going to make it anyway, because I only got 
uh, three hours more to drive, and it don't look like it's going to happen. So I'm going to get there tomorrow, though, but don't know what time. But I'm going to make it there. Everybody else, y'all take it easy. We're gone. Say bye, Sharika. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we out.